Alrighty. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, that happens. Um, see, I'm, I'm not really worried about burnout, actually, because, because, like, I'm not going to be playing a lot of characters all at once. Like, I'm going to do a burst, probably, but I'm not going to, like, I'm not going to be like, like, oh, I want to make these ten characters, I'm going to level all ten characters up and... And plow through a, a chunk of the game all at once. I'm gonna be more like, oh, I have I have one build I want to do right now, with the new stuff from the X pack. That's it. Um. I I really do have a build I want to do. It's not anything crazy either. Um. In fact, I could probably start into it here, skill-wise, and get used to it. But yeah, it's it's just, I don't, I don't want to, oh, Fang of the Bone Hunter was her next thing, that's right. It wasn't stuff from the, the roguelikes, even though that is part of it. Um, we'll go do that then, because I said we'll do all the side quests here, so... Yeah, we'll go grab the side quests. But yeah, Hara's Artifice is pretty much the only thing that, like, caught my eye as a early build I want to pull together. So getting it all prepped and ready and having this character at that level, who's already using Kalidor's Tempest, um, ready to, to be modified to run Hara's Artifice, that's smart on my end to get the build video out and get used to using the build. Um... And also, there aren't actually a lot of sets that interest me, if I'm being brutally honest, because it's like most, most of the new sets, like they're fine as sets and there were some cool ideas in there, but I'm just like, I don't want to build a lot of characters in Grim Dawn. TBH. All right, so uh, the first side quest thing we'll do is run into a cave over here. So we want to pretty much just stread hate, just head straight east. Ugh. Stread hate east, and then, uh, yeah. Uh, we're going to run on through all of the crap that's right here. And when I said a cold chest piece, I didn't actually mean... Uh, yeah, we won't deal with him. Screw Flesh Hulks. Yeah, we're not actually going to build cold right now. We would be building Kalidor's Tempest, which is still Fire Aether. I would just go and grab a couple cold devo- Okay. Okay, game. Grab a couple cold devotions and run with them. I think Murmur and Amatok are the two big ones I'd go for. All right, so the the Black Sepulchre, um, lots of ghosts and undead. Uh, you're gonna maneuver your way through here and boop. Uh, kill as many things as you can. Watch out for the death pools. These guys drop. Uh, I believe these guys are. Mostly physical, maybe a little bleed in there. I think their death pools are bleed. Yeah. Um, and then you got your standard assortment of ghosts. But yeah, we want these guys to gather up and we'll just kill them all with our flash freeze. I mean, you're already doing flash freezes. The the character, the character would be basically similar to this, just with Kalidor's Tempest instead of flash freeze. And then stun jacks for spam. And we could even start building that, right? Yeah, 
it would not be difficult to have something like that pulled together. Um, see, I'm kind of going to run through here as quickly as I can. You're going to end up in this section, which looks more like a cave. It's like the back end of it, and spiders will be here. I promise. There we go. Uh, you can see the Devotion Shrine on our map that we're going for. It's the only reason to come in here. I don't think I'm going to start in the ultimate at level 1. <clears throat> yep, so we're going to keep this place nice and cleaned out. Get caught in a cage from that gargantuan and then move on. So there's going to be a purple guy guarding this. Let's get him aggroed. Uh, yeah, he's a, a poison guy. Plague East of the Crepid. Whoops kind of kiting him around because I just didn't want to die to the poison. But yeah, once we get once we get to the devotion trend we can we can head out of here. Um I almost hit escape to exit. We're going to head back to Fort Icon. Yeah, so I got about Four hours of sleep last night. Which is probably why I'm stumbling over my speech and... Oh, hey. Stumbling over my speech and stuff more than usual. Having trouble enunciating. Yep, so we're coming back here. We're going to go hit up the... Uh, tomb thing over here. There are two things we got to do in here. We have to grab a, another Devotion Shrine, and we have to grab a... Uh, grab the quest that's down here. For the order of best vigil. Yeah, some of the faction gear looked really interesting. And I really hope they put in a method. And this I don't know if they actually did or not. They put in a method for, say, an order of best vigil character to get order of best vigil gear, right? Break away this wall for a hidden stash. Just sniper someone with our Trojans there. I think, yeah, we can't put it on the other side of the wall. Hey, Gilstein. Gilstein, are you Gil Pants on Discord? Okay. I figured as much because of, you know, the Gil part, but I just wanted to make sure before uh, I, s I make you a, a regular in... But no, you're fine. I I just have a, a it doesn't come with any special 
features or anything. But I do have a regulars tag in uh or category or group or whatever you want to call it. Um in the Discord. And I was like, wait, is that Gilstein? That's gotta be Gilstein, but we gotta make sure. Anyways, the four hours of sleep I got, I don't know why I could not fall asleep last night. My body was just like, well, you're up. Why don't you stay up? And I'm lying in bed like, I want to go to sleep. My body's like, my brain is like, but you're awake. You like being awake, right? And I'm like, yeah, but I also want to sleep. And we make our way over here. Well, that sucks. We make our way over here. And um, right here, you'll find a loose torch. But you click to open this door. And then you just walk in here, break that wall, and we are in the Lost Tomb of the Damned. Which is a pretty... Pretty awesome name for an album. Oh, you'll find more of the the ghouls down here. And some ghosts. Are they super? Mumps. I don't know why I, I opened that portal there, but there's going to be a purple named guy right here. Guarding this devotion shrine and this casket. We'll just kill him quickly. Not stand in the rocks. <laughs> So this devotion shrine requires more and more uh, rare crafting mats as you go up the difficulties. To the point where you need all three in ultimate. Hmm. I forget why I'm going this far down in both of these trees now. Uh, yeah, we'll grab the, the Shattered Star point for that potential, potential burst chance there. And we're basically running in reverse back out of here. Yeah, the, the oh, the, uh, devotion abilities, I'm probably not going to. Uh, spend the points on just so I don't have to respect them later. We'll just use these two for the time being and uh, call it at that. It's a bit of a pain to walk out of here, but it's fine. Yep, so this is the chosen we have to take down. It's guarding the ashes. Bartholem, big old fire guy with a big old fire hammer. Uh, he does not have a big old, a big old treasure chest behind him though, so. Not exactly the most exciting farming thing you'd have to do. Um, if you want your your Kaiman's um, reputation to 
to be dropped heavily, then yeah, you'll you'll need to do that. So that that whole area a lot. So we're gonna hop over to Burwich Village. We're gonna run down the eastern road here through Mud Row. Gonna hang left. Come to this bridge, clear the damage, and repair it. So this is East Marsh. Um, the bone hunter we need for Anasteria is in here. This place is full of the Eastmire brutes. The what are they called? The the Mistborns and trolls. So Mistborns and trolls. There's also a part of a side, like a super secret side quest that happens, um, that ends in here. We'll have to do that, won't we, if we're doing an in-depth playthrough, technically. So we're going to stick to the lower end of it, and we're just going to sort of run east. Pop on a portal, go through this gate. There's a purple name guy right here. And he actually has a lot of trolls near him. Uh, he's a big poison troll who hurts a lot. Um, I don't like him and I want to run away. Hey, Quacky. Well, that happens sometimes. Believe it or not. Owie. Okay. Now, if you need... I think it is Bone Crushers, isn't it? If you want to make that uh, Mistborn... Mistborn Relic. Which I think you do actually need to make it at one point. For a Devotion Shrine. Uh, I believe that's where you get the the weapon used to make it. Um, yeah, I my Aether Ray guy, we'll play him through the X-Pack definitely when it first comes out. I think we'll do like a, a day one stream where we just run through it all with that guy. And I'll do the more efficient, in depth playthrough like this. Um, after. Where am I going? So you want to stick stick to the east side here. Um, you'll go across a bunch of bridges. Um, you'll you'll see a bunch of grovels, and you can just kill them as needed. And eventually we'll come up here to this area with the Bone Hunter. You'll see these uh, pillars, big ass rock, and here he is. Kind of blends in. I believe he's a like a Pierce Bleed guy. And there's the Fang the Bone Hunter. Now you'll you'll still get that item even if your enemies with Asteria. With Asteria. Asteria? And Asteria. I should know that damn name by now. Um, like I said, though, I did not get a good night's sleep. Um, you'll still get Fangs of the Bone Hunter, even if you are not her ally. Which is kind of funny. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. That's oh actually that's not that funny, Jen. Never mind. Um last thing we need to grab up 
is the spirit of Mog Dragon. Um, let me check my inventory because we were kind of full up, weren't we? Oh, we're good. And the spirit of Mog Dragon, I mentioned where it was before. <laughs> oh, Gilstein, there's no deleting anything you've ever. You've ever said in my chat. Oh, by the way, Gilstein, this is actually going on YouTube, too. So it's immortalized now. I. <laughs> Goddamn children, I blame them for them. Oh. Alright, so the portal I'm looking for spawns in three places. Uh, I think it was right there was one. Fucking Flash Hulks. That guy was dancing, and I interrupted it. How rude of me. Um, I honestly don't remember the portal placements. <laughs> I don't there there we go that's the other one I was thinking of uh I think it's like like here and here and then where we're standing so we're just gonna go in it so this is another yep this is a recording uh I'm using my my precognitive powers to respond to chat So this is another rift like that uh, one we did in the Blood Grove. Filled with these experience bags known as obsidians. And um, yeah, we want to actually kill, kill as much as we can in here before we leave. Uh, we are looking around for the Spirit of Mogdragon. It, I think it only spawns in the top level, but this is a... A two-level Chthonic Rift. Second level has a unique enemy, purple name guy. Who, if you're in Kaiman's Chosen, you have to kill. It's part of their quest line. I mean, I've said some pretty embarrassing, like, transpositions of words in my day so I won't actually make fun of make fun of you Gilstein for an extended period of time I'll laugh at I'll laugh at the sentence and then let it go The most notable, the most notable funny thing I've screwed up saying is, feel the speed. I said spiel the feed once. My brother still makes fun of me for that. What was directed at Clobber? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. 
yeah, in case anyone's wondering why I'm like running in the walls and almost like I'm not paying attention to uh to the game is because I'm I'm reading chat while I'm going and I am actually not paying that much attention to the game. Oh, no, I didn't, I didn't intend that to be towards Clobber. No, seriously, I would not, I would not tolerate a cart, a cart command. I thought I saw the lights flicker just now. I was like, wait, what the fuck was that? Yeah. I don't know if I need more in the demolitionist, honestly. In fact, I don't think I need anything past blast shield. If I'm being, like, really honest. Because if we're going to build stun jacks, that's all down here, right? And we'll grab... We will probably still grab up these two, but um, Flame Touch and Temper for the stats they provide beyond the damages, specifically the OA on Flame Touched. Um, yeah, so the second level has a, an Obsidian Trove that is essentially an Exalted Chest. Um, I think it's almost always by the boss of the area, but I think it actually has a couple spawn locations, which is annoying. Um, and this place is shaped like a giant donut with a with a path in the middle. So we're obviously going around the top of the donut right now. <laughs> uh no that was gin wiping that was gin wiping yesterday Oh, it was, it was, Jin, link the clip, damn it. That, that has to be one of the funniest moments in all of Monster Huntering. It's definitely one of the funniest moments that's happened on stream. I think there are maybe two others that happened off stream that are funnier. Yeah, so it is a big ring with like a section in the middle. We're going to try to kill all the trash mobs before we walk up to this guy. So this is uh, Bane Gargoth, big ol' fire obsidian. Nice. 
Nice, nice. He's got his stash by him. And I think that's all of the side quests we have so far. Uh... Yeah, we just... Oh, yeah, let's go restore the shrine, and we'll call this an episode. Yeah, I was aware of the YouTube comments uh, regarding video length, and that 10 minutes was not enough. But to me, like, doing a giant multi-hour thing isn't... Isn't good, either. So we'll just do this. Yeah, Ghost, and that clip that Jin just linked um, is absolutely one of the funniest things. So yeah, the shrine you have to restore to Mog Dragon is up here. It's in the Astrakhan Valley. It's sort of halfway between the like waypoint that we just popped out of and like the well the one waypoint's here. It's like maybe I'd say halfway from like this crossover area. And this waypoint. You just basically run to the east. And it's right here. And then we offer the stuff up to restore it. And we have a fight. This is actually one of the more fun fights. Sort of. Over a devotion shrine. Honestly. Especially sort of later on. But yeah, once you uh, take everything down, uh, Mog Dragon will appear. Now you can fight him, but it's too much of a pain in the butt to do. So yeah, I think we've got all of the Devotion Shrines for normal now. Barring maybe one or two, maybe one I'm probably missing in my brain. I think those are all the ones for normal. So that was all of the side quests I like to do for this section of the game. Um, I tend to avoid the one that uh, Spellbreaker Moira gives you. Because it's just that annoying. Um... But yeah, we can... Oh, we'll have one more to do, I think, after the Sacred Ashes. But yeah, then we can go and basically finish the base game next uh, next segment. So thanks for watching YouTube. I'll catch you guys next time for... What is this? Episode 20, I think it's going to be, of the in-depth playthrough. I will be doing the X-Pack on normal difficulty, by the way. Something I usually don't do, but for the sake of smooth follow-through, we'll do the X-Pack, and then we'll jump into a lead after that. So thanks for watching again, and I will see you guys next time. No, you can drop the professional act. All right, time to use all those negative racial epithets.